Prince William may be royalty, but he can enjoy fun in the sun at the beach like the rest of us. On Thursday, the Prince of Wales visited Fistral Beach in Cornwall, England, about a five-hour drive outside of London. The prince also holds the title of Duke of Cornwall. With the temperatures heating up, the warm spring weather attracted crowds to the popular spot, and if the weather wasn't enough reason to stay, the royal appearance definitely caught people's attention. The prince was there to meet with several life-saving organizations that work out on the waters in the area. While there, the prince was seen interacting with some of those who had gathered and taking pictures with others. Prince William also joined a game of volleyball, showing off his serving skills. During his visit, some offered well wishes to William's father, King Charles, and his wife, Princess Kate, who are both undergoing cancer treatment. Princess Kate has been out of the public eye for the last few months following an abdominal surgery in January and then her cancer diagnosis, which was announced in March. Meanwhile, King Charles has returned to his royal duties since his health announcement in February. His first public appearance came on April 30th when he visited a cancer research center and hospital with Queen Camilla by his side. It appears the monarch's schedule is packed with royal duties. On May 8th, the day before Prince William's beach trip, his brother, Prince Harry, was in town for the Invictus Games. The Duke of Sussex, who founded the Games, reportedly extended invitations to his father and brother ahead of the event's anniversary service, but they were unable to attend because of their full schedules. A spokesperson for the Duke said in a statement, the Duke, of course, is understanding of his father's commitments and various other priorities and hopes to see him soon. On the same day as the Invictus Games service, King Charles had to host the first garden party of the season at Buckingham Palace and Prince William conducted investitures at Windsor Castle.